morning dear friends and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. What a wonderful privilege we have to be at the feet of Jesus for just a few minutes before we begin this day's activities. Today's meditation is actually taken from 2nd Samuel chapter 7 verse 27 where we read, O Lord Almighty, God of Israel, you have revealed this to your servant saying i will build a house for you so your servant has found courage to offer you this prayer this is a prayer that david made unto the lord and the title of this meditation is prayer a great find in the heart a great find and david had made a find a discovery a very important find the find was in his own word in his own heart and the find was a desire to pray that was the find this desire was found in his heart a love for prayer how about you Do you have a heart affection for prayer? Unless you have that heartfelt affection for God to be in touch with God. How we will naturally will not pray. And therefore it is absolutely necessary for us to be filled with the holy spirit who makes god real to us and the more we understand god we love him and that love bring us into affection towards god and uh, when that happen this is the highest form of a prayer though prayer may begin as a um matter of necessity it soon becomes a matter of the heart and it is only when the prayer becomes a matter of the heart we will reach god where heart is not involved we reach no way it will remain only a formality the prayer of the heart cannot be interrupted by the occupation of the mind no matter what our mind are filled with if the heart is involved in that affectionate feeling for god nothing can interrupt our desire for prayer and prayer remember is talking to god to be engaged in a in a talk a little talk with god and in order to find a prayer in the heart the following are necessary so listen carefully number one her heart right with god which is absolutely necessary in order to find a prayer in the heart if the heart is not right with god communion with god is impossible read matthew chapter 15 verse 19 for out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false testimony slander these are what make a man unclean remember in order to have a communion a time of a prayer from the heart it is absolutely necessary for us to possess a heart right with god now what these words that jesus uttered mean if you have these things in the heart then our heart is not right with god in in jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 says 
The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? You see the heart, the natural heart's condition. It is, it is most of the time the heart is not right before God or with God. And the reason is out of the heart becomes all kinds of evil imaginations and thoughts and, uh, and, and desires. And also here in Jeremiah it says the heart is the most deceitful thing, member of it in our body. And out of that heart comes all kinds of deception and untruthfulness. But in order to have a affectionate communion with God, to possess a right heart or a heart that is right with God is absolutely necessary. How is our heart usually? Even sometimes when we pray, and silently if we want to pray in meditation, we find that our minds are roaming around, just distracting our affection from God. And so make sure that your heart is pure and your heart is sincere and your heart is affectionate towards God and tender towards God. And then that desire of your heart to pray becomes meaningful to you, enjoyable, and you draw closer to God in affection and in goodwill. And the second thing that is needed to find prayer in our heart is a heart filled with God. God is quite at home in a heart filled with himself. When God enters into your heart and wherever he turns, he sees himself. You understand what I mean? When your heart is filled with God, and when God comes in, wherever he turns, he sees himself. And when God enters into your heart, that is the experience that he expect. Your whole being is saturated by what fills your heart. In your love, he sees himself. In your affection, he sees himself. In your desires, he sees himself. So be filled with God, because God is all these. He is full of compassion, he is full of love, and he is full of uh, understanding and good desires for you. And so when he's, he's, he fills your heart and wherever he turns within you, he sees himself because he sees love. When a person is so full of God, what will he show? He shows full of love and compassion and understanding and joy and peace. And so my friends, Make sure that your heart is filled with God. And uh, what does God see in your heart? Who is God in your heart? And the Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 says, Then 
the peace that passes all understanding will guard your minds and your hearts in Christ Jesus and so let the peace of god guard your hearts when you are filled with 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 god and that is what the passage itself says do not be anxious about anything but in everything with prayer and petition with thanksgiving bring your request to god and then the 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 peace of god that passes all understanding will guard your minds and your hearts in christ jesus amen lord thank you for blessing your people with this exhortation let it be a guidance for their life and especially for their prayer life that their heart may be set in the right manner in your presence filled with god filled with your word and filled with your desire thank you in jesus name amen